Heavy rain warning is now in force for all Samoa. Flood advisory is also in force for all major rivers and vulnerable areas. A small craft advisory is also in force for all open waters within the Samoan region. Tropical Cyclone Sarai Category 2 located about 1106 kilometres to the southwest of Samoa and is slow moving to the east northeast at the speed of 15 kilometres per hour. An active convergence zone that links to tropical cyclone Sarai remains over Samoa with unstable and wet conditions. Heavy downpours with gusty winds will persist through Wednesday. Swell observations this morning show swell heights ranging between 2 to 2.5 metres. However, validating the issuance of the small craft advisory for this morning is due to the set of high swells from the cyclone. Potential impacts, poor visibility, gusty winds, foggy, slippery roads and building near roadsides and waterways, strong and pull out current, currents as well as rough seas. And that was issued by the Samoa Meteorological uh, Division at 5am local time. On the screen is the NOAA floaters. Joint Typhoon Warning Centre's latest advisory uh, indicates that the tropical cyclone CO4P is uh, 509 nautical miles west of Nau, tracking east-southeast at 6 knots over the last 6 hours. Animated multispectral satellite imagery shows a partially exposed low-level circulation centre with convection displaced south of the centre. The initial position is set with good confidence based on a microwave eye feature on a Windsat microwave image. The initial intensity is based at 60 knots and based on multi-agency Vorak current intensity estimates of T4, 65 knots and a SATCON estimate of 54 knots, lending fair confidence to the initial intensity. Despite warm 26-27 Celsius sea surface temperatures and a decent upper level outflow to the east, moderate to high 25 to 30 knot vertical wind shear is creating a marginally unfavourable environment for the cyclone. As the sea system progresses, vertical wind shear will continue to increase, causing the cyclone to steadily weaken as the environment becomes more unfavourable. That's some of the uh, information from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Here's a look at the 850 millibar vorticity, the intensity scale to the right hand side of the screen. You can clearly see where the cyclone is positioned. Now we have a look at various uh, tracks along with intensity guidance. Fiji has the cyclone and central pressure at 980 millibars, category 2, 20 decibel 3 degrees south, 179 decibel 1 degrees west, position poor and as mentioned the cyclone is moving east, they have 5 knots, expect the sustained winds of 50 knots close to the centre. And there's no doubt that the cyclone is now on a weakening trend as it approaches higher wind shear. We will have more later.
You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website, force13.com, our YouTube page, youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name, Force 13, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.